Hey, what's up? David with Brazos Valley Barbell. Today's video might be a little different than most of my videos, but I wanted to talk more about some of the mental aspects of training, and I have a few more videos planned to follow this one, but I wanted to talk about basically everything that people don't see. And I don't mean diet and sleep habits that are happening in the background that you don't see, but more about the sets and reps that never happened. Right now, a huge amount of my business is based on social media, and specifically Instagram. I assume most of you found this channel by finding my lifting on Instagram first, and I actually think overall this is an extremely positive thing for the sport. Powerlifting is growing and attracting new members like it never has, and that's because people can feel connected and get to know each other and see details of other lifters' training and habits that otherwise would have never surfaced. I really think this is great for the sport and community, but the problem comes when I do things with my training that may not be in the best interest in order to keep up with my competitors and online, keep my business and lifting relevant. I definitely go through phases where I feel pressure to do certain lifts or push past what I should because it will make a good post. But more often than not, I actually make good decisions and stop where it's reasonable. And that's what this video is about. So what I wish people knew about my training is how often I stop at my last warm up. How often I take weight off the bar. How often I'm willing to adapt to what's happening in order to have productive sessions. The lifting we're watching right now is a little bit of that in action. I had planned straight sets around 475 pounds on squats, but actually because my hip is really feeling a lot better right now, I wanted to keep that progress rolling and not suffer any sort of setback. So I, started, I decided to start much lighter than originally planned and work my way up through the sets to a more challenging set or two. I almost certainly could have loaded the weight up and gotten through all the planned work, but then I would have had a higher chance on my next session having to take a major step back and not being able to be productive at that point. I actually don't want this video to sound like I'm only making good decisions because of some of the pain. I do this more often than people would think. There have been countless days that I have a planned single or planned top set that, I really, uh, that I'm really excited about going for, but warm-ups tell me otherwise and I stop and I move on. There are absolutely are occasions that it's more than warranted to go after a big lift and push your limits and learn to be uncomfortable, but these need to be framed in the context of all the other training you're doing. One of the most common mistakes that I see is lifters feeling attached to whatever number you have written in your progression or planned in your head before the session and just go after it without any thought on how previous sessions have gone or how this session is feeling in the moment. I can't emphasize enough that, that when I've had a lift feeling bad, how rare it is that hitting that next heavier set has helped me make progress. Dropping a little load, keeping an intensity manageable, hitting more and more good reps have all made lagging lifts rebound faster than any amount of willpower and toughness ever have. These things are hard to post about. No one wants to see a post about, I didn't do my top set today and I'm really proud of the fact that it never happened. People almost always would rather see me grind and I would feel good about being tough and hitting that weight anyway. But you have to be able to look at your programming and assess how the loading or the intensity or whatever it is is going to help you improve. If the only reason that you have for hitting the heavier weight is to see if you can, or just because you can, you need to reassess your priorities. We all get into powerlifting because we wanna see how strong we can get and we enjoy pushing ourselves. But don't let stubbornness and ego be a factor that keeps you from reaching your higher goals. We need to train hard. This shouldn't sound like I'm saying to only do easy sets, but we need to be able to differentiate between hard and valuable. There are always going to be times that we have a bad day out of nowhere. All the other signs have pointed to this being a good session, but then things go awry and we hit something heavier than we should. That circumstance isn't necessarily what I'm talking about, but the main problem is when the pattern of lifting has been that a certain lift has been inconsistent or harder than expected, but you just keep hitting harder and harder sets without ever thinking that you're making the problem worse. Bad training can be very easily limited in single sessions or very short periods of time with just a little bit of restraint. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like I said, I have a few more coming. So let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Are you easy at the same time?